So welcome back to the next video. I look tired and I need a haircut and a beard trim. Anyway, I digress. Cylinder heads. So what we're looking at is port matching our inlet manifold to our cylinder head. So what we need is a Dremel or some other tools so we can get a nice clean path of air into the engine and make the fuel and air bang bigger and make the car faster. So let's crack on. So here is said ported head. Like I said, after many hours, the head is ported. All nice and lovely jubbly. Now, I was going to do a video of porting the actual head, but these are very time consuming. So most of the people who are going to watch this video are going to have a head already done. So this is the next bit where you can finesse your engine, really. So we'll start at the point you've got a head to go on your car or your head on your car is already ported and polished. But has your head been port matched to your inlet manifold? Port matching is matching these ports to those ports. So on a ported head, these are your inlets. These have all been enlarged. And they are now bigger than those and a different shape. So what we need to do is get a new inlet manifold gasket, the one you're going to fit on the car, and then we'll put that on here and then get some bolts, short ones, and tighten the gasket down to the head itself. So here we go, said gasket is on. Now this is a gasket you're going to use to fit on the car because this is going to be specific to this head and that manifold or your head and your manifold. So when you're doing these down, just nip them down because you don't want to distort the gasket. Now what you will be looking at is obviously these upper lines are going to be pretty smooth pretty in line with the actual gasket end. What you're going to have mainly is steps here. And this is the gasket. The gasket has got a step just on the bottom around there and that side. Same again, quite a big step there. Quite a big one on the side here and there. So we've got a bit few, few areas of the gasket to match to the head. Now we could, in an ideal world from the manufacturer, obviously all these are machined by a machine, so they're all exact. So anyone who's porting a head, you're going to struggle to get these exactly perfect to match the gasket. So the port's all done to a certain size for the certain engine build and the airflow, all that good stuff. So what we need to do now is get your die grinder, or you can do this with a basic round engineer's file, what we're going to do is remove the material from the gasket away to match the ports on the head. So as you've seen, just going for the head, only little bits we need to take off, nothing too major. Um, on the sides here, you can just finish that with a bit of sandpaper once we're finished to make it nice and flat. So once we've done that, that needs to transfer onto a cylinder head. So here we go, said intake manifold. I find the Mark ones, put them in a vise because they've got a bit on the bottom which doesn't sit flat. Dropped a nut. So remembering this gasket can go both ways around here, but it only goes one way on the head. So that is between cylinders three and four, which is that one there. And remembering which way around you put it on the head. Obviously we're looking at our witness marks. Well, nuts just went tight. So this is, a, this is the head side. So, needs to go like that. Because our head is upside down, remember? So all we're doing is taking the gasket from there. Whoop. Onto there. So what we'll do, we'll fix this on and I'll show you what we're doing. So 
So as you can see, what I've done there, it's been done at an angle. So what I've done is open up the face to what we need. And then this lip there shows me how much we need to blend in. So all we do now is just blend in, as in this part, to the face, the line. So once we've completed all that, all we need to do now is put a gasket out, gasket back on and double check what we've done is right. So with the gasket back on, we can see that each of our ports on the inlet manifold matches the gasket, which in turn matches the cylinder head. So we know any air that's going to go and flow in through the throttle body, which we'll port later on, into here will come a direct path into the head. Now the idea of this is to stop disturbance in air. So whether you've got these are larger and they're smaller or they're larger and they're smaller, vice versa, you want a clean path of air through this joining point. So you want air to come in straight in the engine. So like I said, if you have already got a port and polished cylinder head, um, then this is a good thing to double check it's done. It's something you can do in your garage. Yeah, I've got an air grinder and a compressor. Again, they're not massive expensive things, but you can do this with an engineer's file or a simple Dremel. There's loads of ways you can do it. One thing I do do is, this is a carbide bit, it zooms in. There we go. This is what I like using, my favorite little one. You notice I was spraying some old WD-40 on it. Other stuff's available. Um, all that does is help the cut or the, the grinding marks will be a lot smoother and it prevents this getting clogged up because you get aluminium there it's only small they can get clogged up um quite easy um you'll find it starts to jump around quite a lot it's bouncing around and that can be bad because they can dig marks into it especially if you're at a final finishing point so there we go that's port matching an inner manifold to an already ported cylinder head so we have now got a nice pass path of air coming in any questions, stick them in the comments. Hope this helps you. Next up will be putting a 16 valve throttle button in here, which I've done previously. Um, so we'll get all that ported. Then we can have clean air in. Oof, nice flow path into our port and polished cylinder head. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.